welcome everyone good morning this is anupam and in this video we are going to see how to integrate virilize automation with terraform runtime it's basically we are using the backend of the virilize automation appliance itself to integrate it it's a very simple approach and a quick video let's start with the video and guys please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like it also leave your comment uh, if you want to see any specific video with respect to virilize automation i will try to cover that now let's begin with the video with vra 8.2 vmware has added a support for running a terraform configurations directly on vra interface so it make life much more easy and uh, make the configurations or use of terraform much more easy with the latest release now we are in 8.6 when I'm making the video, but this was already available from 8.2. Before I go any further, I want to make a note that Terraform images, whatever will be retrieved every time, you know, whenever you're trying to do any kind of a configurations. So every time you do uh, some kind of a configuration, the Terraform pod will be created dynamically and destroyed dynamically, right? So make sure that the VRA appliance must have a direct internet connection. In case if it does not have, make sure you are using your external Kubernetes cluster, which has an internet connection and it can download uh, the pods and the configurations directly. So guys, uh, first thing is uh, whenever you create a Terraform, you know, template, uh, let's fill test and project make sure your git is already integrated I have made already a different video for that so you will have your repository select your repository select your commit select the source directory wherever your source directories are and just simply let it initialize next uh, if you have any input or anything it will just show you if there is an input or output with respect to the terraform and you have that you can directly deploy and do your testing make sure uh, guys that your uh, with this terraform you're already integrating with your uh, github i have already done this integration before you might uh, look out my other videos where you can see this git integration when you do your test deployment of your terraform code from your realize automation you will get an error saying that your Terraform runtime integration account is not set up. And this is the issue which we are going to resolve in this video in a very quick way. So let's log into our VRA appliance. Um, we put the password. Once you log into VRA appliance, we are going to do cat to our Kubernetes admin.config. Let's scroll up. We need to make one small change here is our, uh, so this is the complete information of the cluster. So the one information which we need to change is our server information. Let me do VI and update the server information. Scroll down, yes, there. I'll change the server information to my VRA appliance IP address. Whatever appliance you have, just use that IP address or a DNS and it's done. Once you are done with that, uh, again do your cat, copy all the information, the configuration file. This is something which we will be updating in our Kubernetes integration on the VRA portal. Let's log into the VRA. Service console, we will go to cloud assembly, infrastructure. Let's quickly go to integration, Terraform. Just keep the name, uh, whatever you want. In our case, we are using Kubernetes uh, cube config, uh, external configurations. So whatever we have just copied, paste that. And we have we'll give the namespace uh, preload which is actually already uh, used by VRA. We will validate. Validate a success. Click add, 
and now you can directly go in your so it is added let's click on design create our cloud template once we click on our cloud template we can simply click on deploy and this deployment will execute without any error so thank you guys thank you for watching this video